Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and I thought I'd do a vlog style video. Um, this is just a concept that I've came up with. Not the concept of the item, but the concept of the video. And that is just to share or grail items. Because uh, I saw this meme uh, that uh, said uh, something to the effect of after buying my grail item, and then it has the Attack King King Parkinson saying, oh, no, I'm not going to financially recover from this. And so, uh, anyways, uh, there were several categories I'm going to cover, like guns, knives, vehicles, and then um, um, there was going to be uh, different tiers. So, those, uh, if I won the lottery, this is no way, shape, or form possible for me to obtain, but I'd love to have it. And so, uh, and then there's going to be a little bit more attainable to attainable. Um, First off, let's talk about guns. Uh, long guns and then handguns. Long guns, if I had to say for my, if I won the lottery and um, I, no way, shape, or form am I ever going to be able to attain this, but I'd love to attain it, that'd be a Holland and Holland long gun. Now, if I wanted to be very specific, I could say a Holland and Holland paradox, which, um, I love the Paradox, but if I wanted something a little bit more practical, it would be like their double rifle. But the Paradox is cool because it's smoothbore, and then the last few um, inches of it are rifled. And if so, you can load up with shot, shell, or slugs on one barrel or the other. If you're walking through the woods, you see a rabbit or a quail, you can pop it with the shell or the shot. And then if you see a buck, you have that ready as well. Uh, but... I think more than getting the Paradox, the Paradox is basically the only um, model name that I know that, and it's the only reason I know it's because it's so interesting. But I'd love to have a, a 4570 double rifle, <laughs> um, you know, being able to sign my name in the book of people who bought a tailored uh, long gun for hunting in Africa or a big dangerous game. And uh, so I'd just love to have one of those. Now, on the little bit more attainable side, that would be the um, Sharps rifle. Uh, a Sharps in 4570, maybe 45110. Uh, I'd like to have 45110, but realistically, 4570 would be the better option. But um, I'd love to have a Sharps rifle. Um, to me, they're just awesome. They're kind of the first sniper rifle of its time. Not to say there wasn't any uh, earlier, but Sharps is where we get the term uh, Sharpshooter. Um, so I'd love to have a Sharps rifle. And the tier under that, the tier that's most attainable for me is the Ruger number one rifle. And again, in 4570, 45110, um, it's a um, uh, kind of a trapdoor um, style rifle. And I'd love to have one of those. And that's pretty attainable to me if I could find one um, in the caliber that I want. It doesn't have to be 4570, but that would be kind of my ideal caliber. But if I found another caliber like um, 6 or something like that, um, even a, a 65 Cream or something like that, uh, that, that would be the um, more attainable rifle long gun option. As for um, pistols, if I could have just about any pistol that I could ever dream or hope of having, and these are relatively attainable, and that would be the uh, Colt 1903 uh, uh, Pocket Hammerless. I used to have one and I sold it and I regret it, uh, but I'd like to have it in 380 instead of 32 ACP. Um, now, another gun that I'd equally like to have is a uh, Rigor Old Army Cap and Ball Revolver. One of the funnest guns you could ever shoot, and I got rid of mine stupidly when I was young. I traded it for, I think, a um, Ruger um, Black Hawk. Uh, but the Ruger Old Army Cap and Ball Revolver and Stainless Steel is an awesome gun, and it's it's fun. It's, it's truly fun. Uh, a lot of black powder rifles are fun because you get that fog of smoke and uh, stuff like that. Now, when it comes to knives, what are some of my grail items? Well, ideally, and these are not. This is not even the most beautiful knife out there. You can get very much prettier knives, but to me, the iconic and most um, 
awesome Bowie knives out there was the Bagwell Bowie. I own a uh, Ontario Bagwell Bowie, but I'd love to have one of his customs. And um, I'm not going to be able to attain this. Um, I like uh, Jerry Fisk. Uh, I pretty much like anything from ABS Maker that makes a good traditional buoy. I like Coffin Handle. I like Stag when Stag is done right. Um, but I love the kind of slender profile that Bill Bagwell does of his buoys. I like kind of the elongated clip. Uh, sharpened uh, false edge. Of course, all false edges are sharp. sharp. Uh, but I'd love to have a ABS buoy, preferably Bill Bagwell, maybe Jerry Fisk. Um, and there's a, awesome, a lot of awesome makers out there that are really good as well. Um, other than the next tier down, um, that would probably be the Cold Steel Archangel, which is one of their uh, ballast songs. Uh, and um, I've never seen one for sale on the secondary market, i.e. Um, Amazon. I'm sure I could probably find one on the forums, but people are hanging on to them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I would love to have a uh, Cold Steel Archangel. And the tier down from that would be the uh, Emerson Persian. Also, the specific Cutlery Weehawk boot knife. Uh, they had it uh, on Blade HQ, and I missed out on it, and I, I hate that, but I'd love to have this knife as well. Vehicles. I'd love to have a, um, a Jeep um, Wrangler Unlimited. Uh, maybe the Jeep Gladiator, but I think I'd prefer the Jeep uh, 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 Wrangler Unlimited uh, Battle. Um, that, that's kind of more attainable than getting an Ashton Martin or something like that. Um, I, I also am a fan of Ashton Martins from James Bond. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, um, that's kind of my grill item list. Um, that, that's, that's pretty much... Oh! Watches! Got to talk about watches. Uh, Watches is an interest of mine, and I love to have an Omega Seamaster, uh, uh, gold or yellow indices with a back uh, dial, um, a, a, a Seamaster diver, you know, something that's um, a dive rated uh, to go scuba diving in. But I love how Omega has a black dial with the orange indices um, number markings and stuff. And, in fact, this is the closest thing I have to it. Um, the indices are not as gold as I'd like. They're a little bit yellow. They have a little bit of yellow trim. The, um, the bezel uh, has gold on it. But I love the black and gold combination, and Omega knocks it out of the park. Uh, Omega Seamaster with, um, uh, yeah, how I described it. I'm not as big of a Rolex fan. I love Omega, or Omega, however you want to say it. And um, probably the next step up would be a Petit Philip. Petit Philip has some beautiful dress watches. So there was my sporting watch, the Omega, and the dressier watch, uh, which are both pretty fancy looking. But the more dressier uh, tuxedo type watch would be the Petit Philip. I've came across some of those in. Um, uh, Hawaii and they're so expensive they won't let you take pictures of them because I was going to take pictures and show them off in my uh, vacation video and <laughs> like I said they said for security reasons we can't allow you to take pictures so that's it that's the uh, my name is Satsu5 and I'm